Hello everyone, this is Southern Star 71 bringing you an LEC week 3 wrap up. Also at the end of the video I'll have the uh, picture of the groups. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're going for 500 subs. We'd like to get at least 10 likes if we could on this video. We do modest goals so we have a chance to actually hit them. Hopefully, we get to the 500 subs with plenty of watch hours and get a join button so we can uh, monetize the channel. The first day of week three was July the 1st. That was Saturday. We had Astralis at 2 and 4 against SK at 2 and 4. The winner should make groups, the loser could miss groups. Late game was all Astralis. They win 16 to 9. Vitality 1 and 5, Koi 2 and 4, Douglas in the jungle for Bo. Vitality needs a 2 and 1 week to get a tiebreaker. A 3 and 1 week likely puts them in the groups. A Koi win should get them at least a tiebreaker. This was a bad game. I wrote really bad game. 5 to 4 is the final kill score. Koi defeat Vitality. Vitality. Douglas was fine. Vitality is a disaster. Excel 3 and 3, G2 5 and 1. G2 easily defeat Excel 14 to 6, and it wasn't that close. And the last game, no, the next last game. I wish it was the last game. Fnatic 5 and 1, BDS 2 and 4. BDS almost won the game, though. Fnatic do close it out 17 to 7. It was a lot closer than the kill score indicates. G2 is the best team, but no one is the best player. Bad Lions at 4 and 2, Team Harris at 4 and 2. This was a 21 and 10 shit stop. Surprisingly, for TH, as they like groups, Mad should be in groups even with the loss. 5 wins locks team in groups, 4 wins almost guarantees the team to be in groups. 3 wins gets the team at least a tiebreak game if not clearly in the groups. Well, that was the case the last two years. We had XL 3 and 4 against the Strauss 3 and 4 to start day 2, which was Sunday, July 2nd. The winner of this one is selected in groups. It goes 13 to 4 for the team who had no business making groups, XL. G2 6 and 1, Koi 3 and 4. G2 should win this game. They are already locked in the groups. Koi should be okay even with a loss. A win though puts them in much better shape. G2 wins easily 10-4. This win locks them in the top two. Also locks Mad into groups. Team Heretics at 5-2, Fnatic 6-1. While Fnatic has looked a bit shaky, both teams are already locked in, in two groups. It wasn't ill. I put therefore I expect Fnatic to easily win this one. Also, Fnatic can lock top two with a win. It wasn't as easy as I expected, but Fnatic did win 17 to 10 to lock top two for themselves. TH is already locked in the groups. BDS 2 and 5, Vitality 1 to 6. BDS was really close to winning on Saturday. Deckless was not the problem for Vitality. This is a bust win for both teams. Vitality is out if they lose. It was a late ace. Gave the win to BDS. The final kill score was 20 to 20. Vitality won't make groups. SK 2 and 5. Mad Lions 4 and 3. It's a must win game for SK as they play for the deck on Monday. Mad is locked to the groups with early results. This was a total shit stomp. 27-4. For SK. A bit surprising, but they really, uh, as they say, stopped the mud hole in Mad Lions and walked in it. Walked it dry. That's what they say. They stop a mud hole and they walk it dry. Day three, today, July 3rd. I wrote there will be one or two tiebreak games today. Vitality, one and seven, Excel, four and four. Vitality is 10th no matter what happens here. XL will get top 4 with a win. 
It was 18 to 5 for XL. XL is top 4. If TH does lose to G2, then XL will be in 3rd place. Which after back to back 10th place finishes, no one would have expected. BDS 3 and 5, Bad Lads 4 and 4. BDS win in their end, BDS loses in their end a tiebreaker. This gives my favorite word lately. A total shit stomp. 15 of 4 for BDS. As a lock in groups and bad lose 5 in a row to end the split. Koi 3 and 5. Astralis 3 and 5. The winner is locked in groups. The loser is in a tie break. Game of the if SK loses to Fnatic. Another shit stomp. 22 to 5. Koi locks in groups. Astralis needs SK to lose to Fnatic to set up a tie break game. Team Heretics 5 and 3, G2 7 and 1. Both teams are locked into groups. G2 is top 2 no matter what happens here. Team Heretics will be third with a win. There's a long pause that leads to a chrono break. TH just delayed the inevitable with pause. G2 in with a clean ace to win 14 to 8. G2 locks first place. Fnatic is second. XL is third. And Team Heretic says fourth. The only thing Fnatic has to play for is to be SK play a tiebreaker against Astralis. Otherwise, Astralis is limited to low vitality. SK 3 and 5, Fnatic 7 and 1. I wrote SK wins if they are in groups. SK loses if they get a tiebreak game versus Astralis. Fnatic is top 2 no matter what happens. SK ends the game with a clean ace to win 16 13. This game, Noah died more than he had in the previous eight games combined. No tiebreakers are needed, which is a surprise when the week started. It was even a surprise when the day started. SK made groups, and the Strauss are eliminated. The final standings. G2 was 8-1, 3-0 on the week. Fnatic, 7-2, 2-1 on the week. Excel, 5-4, 2-1 on the week. Team Heretics, 5-4. 1 to 2 on the week. At 4 and 5, we had BDS, SK, Mad Lions, and Koi. That's 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. On the week, BDS was 2 and 1, SK was 2 and 1, Mad Lions 0 and 3, Koi 2 and 1. In ninth place, not making the playoffs, not making group, excuse me. 3 and 6, Astralis, 1 and 2 on the week. And 10th place, 1 and 8. 0-3 on the week, Team Vitality. There's a one-week break to allow teams to adjust to a new patch. Saturday, July 15th, we'll start the group play with Group B. Group A starts Sunday the 16th. So in Group A, we had BDS, Koi, TH, and G2. G2 chose to play Koi, so Team Airtex plays BDS. In Group B, we have Fnatic, XL, um, SK Gaming, and Mad Lions. Fnatic chose XL, which they weren't allowed to do, so they sent Razork off to pick between SK and Mad Lions. He came back with SK. Despite losing to SK today, they chose to play SK. So, Fnatic plays SK, XL plays Bad Lights. These are best of threes. Again, Group A is Koi against G2, TH versus BDS. Group B, Fnatic, SK, XL, Mad Lights. So, my next video will be July the 8th, when I wrap up the LCS Week 4. And then... Looks like July 15th, we'll have week 5 LCS wrap up. And then July 18th, we should have the first week of groups recap. So, for the LEC. Sometime between then, I'll try to have some demos on the channel, or I may play a game, who knows. Also, at some point, I will be doing some racing, driving. 
I'm getting a desk to do monitors. So I'll be more able to raise, have a setup permanently over here. The one monitor is a 32 inch curve to race on. And uh, the second monitor I'm picking up will be to have OBS. So it doesn't have to be really that good of a monitor, just enough to have OBS open on. Once again, thank you for watching. This has been LEC wrap up for week three and also the group stage preview. Once again, group A, G2, Koi, Team Heretics, Team BDS. Group B, it's Fanatic against SK Gaming and Excel versus the Bay Lions. Take care, everyone. See you later. Goodbye.